everyone, my name is Mireya. For this video, this is gonna be a haul. I'm gonna share with you guys a whole bunch of things that I bought at the Swamp Meet. These are either stolen products or I really don't know. I don't know why the store gets rid of them or how they get it. At the time when I was purchasing these products, I never thought that they would be stolen. Like that didn't cross my mind. But a friend that I know, when I was telling her that I purchased these things, she told me that these things I bought could have been stolen. Like, I really don't know if they were. I'm just saying that that's what she said. That's what she said. I really don't know, guys. I don't want to think they're, they're stolen. Because possibly the store just has a whole bunch of product and then they just, they just get rid of it. I don't know how it works. So I'm just here to share with you guys what I got. So let's get started. So to start off, guys, I'm going to share with you guys these body wash infused buffers. I like these because they clean, exfoliate, massage, and nourish. They have so many um, ingredients here that are going to help your skin. This one's coconut. It smells so good. I can already smell it. I also got lavender. This one also smells good. And I got ginger. I purchased three of them. So I think these were two bucks. And in the store, I looked at it on my phone and I saw that they were more expensive. So I wanted to try them out. They smell good. I tried one similar to this years ago and I liked it. So this is good for 14 washes, it says. You have the sponge, you just wet it and you squeeze it, squeeze the excess water and then you just cleanse in circular motions all throughout your, all throughout your skin. I got this DNA Dr. Brandt eye cream. I need a eye cream so Hopefully this will do its job and really help with the fine lines or wrinkles. I also got this other Dr. Brandt uh, product here. This one's an age-defying exfoliator. I hope it works. I'm actually excited to use an exfoliator. I haven't purchased an exfoliator for my face in a while. I haven't used one. So I'm excited to use that. Obviously I'm not going to use everything all at once because just in case something is bad or I react bad to it on um, or my skin is allergic to any of these products then I'll know which product I can discontinue using so one thing at a time don't get all excited me today and try to use it all I also got this is it's a peel skin peel I've never used a skin peel before so hopefully it'll be good it comes in a container and it's not opened it comes like that um, I'm excited to use this as well. I also got this charcoal powder. Pretty excited to use this because it's gonna whiten my teeth. You put some on your toothbrush, brush for two minutes. I think I'm gonna use a special toothbrush whenever I'm using this because I don't want my regular toothbrush to get dirty. I mean, you can always rinse it and I don't want this product to get mixed with my regular cleaning of my mouth and teeth. So that's what I'm gonna do. I also got this eye mask. This is from the same brand. Excited to use it because I've never had an eye mask before. Never used one and I know my my eyes are needing it. I also got a makeup palette Tartist. I guess they were selling it for 19 bucks. I got it for, I think it was five bucks guys. It was a pretty good deal. Like I said, it was too good to let go. But at the same time, you're kind of like thinking like, hmm, how did they get a hold of all these products? So that's what it looks like. I like that it's small and I can carry it to travel. I also got this cover effects. This is a primer, blurring, blurring primer. Excited to use this as well. I already showed that. I got this lipstick. This one's from NYX. Excited to use this as well. The lipstick that I'm using right now, it's also from NYX. This is one of their holiday collections or the gift sets that they had. It feels so, so good. I thought it was going to be dried up by now. It's been a couple hours that I've been wearing it and it feels, and it still feels so good. So I'm hoping it's similar to this lipstick that I have and it doesn't feel cracky or cracked or that I'm going to need to hydrate my lips. Hopefully, it, uh, hopefully it's good. I also got these two beauty blenders. These were two bucks, guys. These are originally priced at the store 20 bucks. Great deal, right? Very, very good deal. Two dollars. I decided to get a different color because it's not. You're not going to be able to see the foundation get stained because those beauty blenders are pretty difficult to wash and clean. Where did I leave that other brush? I got two brushes, guys. I got this one's from Urban Decay. This one is from Sephora. This one comes in a cute packaging. It does look like it had some powder on it, so I don't know how it got used or 
why? See, then again, that question remains like, did they use it? Were these products stolen? Or they just wanted to get rid of all this makeup and they sold it to this person to sell? I don't know how it works, but this one's a cute brush. I'm excited to use this because this is a large blending, large blending brush. Excited to use that because the one I had or the one I used today is pretty small. So I'm excited to use one that's big. This one is pretty cute as well. I need to wash it also. I'm gonna put it with all the brushes I used today, which were a whole bunch. I used all of these brushes to do my makeup. This simple makeup, well not that simple, but this makeup that I have on right now. I'm gonna put it there to get them all washed. I know that if I don't wash it soon, I end up not washing them and then I wanna use them. I also got this sunscreen, this one's, <laughs> sorry. Sorry if I'm saying it that way. I got this sunscreen. This one's SPF 50. I like the spray sunscreen because I don't like using the lotion one. Sometimes it's too thick and then, then I have to keep I have to keep applying it and applying it to take off that thickness and then I end up hurting my delicate skin because I do have the bleeding disorder when I could get bruised up. So I think this is a really good um spray on sunscreen i also got this waterproof eye makeup remover excited to use this because i haven't seen this at the store in years very excited when i saw it i was so happy to to buy it yeah i also got this day cream this one's ampm anti-wrinkle and spf this you can use this in the daytime almost done here guys i also got this other peeling this is the rapid refresh 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 resurfacing peel excited to use this because this is a brand that i have heard of now this one here i've never heard of this brand so i'm excited to use this one and to give it a try this one also let's see. oh this is so awesome look these are individually packed wipes in their individual package there that's so awesome um very smart of the company to do it that way i also got this other cream this one's a night cream never heard of that brand before i also got this uh perfecting shield broad spectrum spf 50 this is a primer i like that it's anti-aging treatment all in one with spf and it's also a primer excited to use that as well uh, once again i got another skin island uh, product this one is a face wash um i don't know if i'm so happy to use that because i've never used this brand before i only used clinique and one or other two brands in the past and oh okay it's new it still has the aluminum in there and i'm just worried that my skin will get irritated and i'm just having that concern now that i used that spray and it smelled really really bad i got this spray from kula this is a makeup setting spray <laughs> Ooh. oh this smells horrible oh i can taste i can still taste that in my mouth that was pretty bad so bad it smelled like alcohol I thought it was supposed to be 100% vegan. Well, it says vegan back here. Cruelty free. There's something in it that I did not like. Really bad, strong scent. And lastly, what I got were these makeup wipes. I think Costco is the one that sells these from Quirkland. I've never used these. These are also new. Expiration date 5 2020. They're still good. Excited to use them because I've never used them. And uh, every time we go to the store, I never want to buy the Quirkland brand because I think that I feel like they're not going to be as good, but hopefully they are. I'm going to compare them to another makeup wipes that I have here at the table. I have these from Equate. These are comparable to that to the Neutrogena makeup wipes. So I'll be trying that at the end of the day to see if they work. Well, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. That helps me a lot to know which videos you guys are liking, which videos you guys enjoy on my channel. It also helps YouTube recommend my videos. So thank you guys for all the love, all the support and all the likes. Take care guys and I will see you guys in the next video. I will see you, you that you're behind that screen. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.